One night, Yemi proved that he can be a playboy and also be a perfect gentleman that is ready to defend the honor and dignity of a woman. Ladies and gentlemen, the way Yemi chastised um, Blue Ava last night for slut shaming his partner Nelisa over her intimate affairs with Melly, oh my god, I was so impressed. I was so impressed, my God. Guys, I was so impressed. And I'm going to be frank with you all. Because of the way Yemi has been moving in the house right from the very first day of the show, I've kind of just written him off. That, okay, this guy does not respect the female. This guy is completely disrespectful. Last night, oh my God, <laughs> I gave Yemi a standing ovation. I mean, he completely chastised Blue Ava to the point that she had to profusely apologize. So you sound right now. I understand that you apologize, but that's how you sounded like they fucked up. Nah. That's how you sounded. Yeah. She had to apologize over and over and over again because she realized that, oh my God, I actually sound stupid. Yeah. Yemi had to correct the statement, the very, very derogatory statement that she made. She had, I mean, Yemi, Yemi made her feel like, nah, even though I flirt with you, nah, you just sounded so dense right now it was such a priceless moment for me and guess what nelisa was not there so he defended nelisa in her absence and that was not the only thing that happened ladies and gentlemen a lot of very very interesting things happened last night which is one of the things i really love about the after party of the saturday night party so on this video i'm just going to tell you um just two major events and then i'm going to make another video telling you the rest of the event all right and please make sure you watch to the end of this video do not skip out on any part and yeah you especially welcome back to my youtube channel my name is glory elijah this is frankly speaking with glory and i am the girl with the t if you are a new subscriber here a returning viewer a returning subscriber thank you so much for choosing to come back to watch this video if you are not yet a part of the family please do not hesitate to do exactly what you see on your screen that said quickly let's proceed into the details of this but into the details of this conversation so about yemi defending nelisa it had all started with a slight issue um between meli and nelisa last night after the party so hey Meli, this is what it is i'm not starting this game don't say i'm instigating this game that's what she's doing that's how it started why is she calling my name and speaking about the situation now the housemates had alcohol in their system they were all in a good mood the vibe was still on they still wanted to have fun and then they started pushing to play a game this time around it was black boy that was pushing that they should play two truths and one dare remember last week um the truth or dare game had been gingered you know by nelisa for the housemates to play remember the first saturday night party um nelisa had pushed for it and that was where she had actually insulted um merely that was where their problem started their issue started and then last weekend again um, she was the one that had actually pushed for the truth or dare game that had actually led to the explosive altercation that almost led to a fist fight between Yemi, Miracle, and then there was also Kosi involved. So Nelisa was trying to play safe and to also kind of prove to Melly that, hey, this time around, she wasn't the one calling for the housemates to play the game, right? And so whilst Black Boy was saying, oh, let's go ahead. Who wants to play? Let's play this game. Let's play this game. She was now making her own side comments and also making it known as well that hey I'm not the one that is calling for everybody to come and play truth or dare again so please people calling me an instigator watch out i'm not the one calling right and then she was even calling meli to also watch out and meli picked offense on that for him he saw that as 
um, Nelisa poking him. And then they had moved to the dressing area, which was where the whole drama actually happened. And um, according to eyewitnesses, yes, they had said that Nelisa made a statement that boys should go to bed. Now, that statement had really provoked Melly because Melly was a bit kind of tipsy and he had been telling um, his partner, Jenny O, that he wanted to go to bed, he wanted to go and sleep. He was not interested in playing any game. Jenny O was saying that, oh, she wanted to play, she wanted to play, that the night was too fun. So he had picked offense because he just interpreted that, okay, fine. This girl has been poking me all evening and so she's the one indirectly now calling me a small boy simply because you know they got intimate and then he ghosted her now that really pissed him off to the point that he went ahead and said something nasty back at nelly i'm not playing i can't small boys to go to sleep i'm like huh <laughs> <laughs> most of the ladies that had heard what Melly said were deeply offended because they felt like no matter what that Melly should not have made a statement it was more like him using his intimate experience with Nelisa to insult her you know to the hearing of everybody in the house so it was more like he was just gonna slut shame her and disgrace her and guys to even make matters worse Jenny O kept on screaming at the top of her lungs, oh, stop effing around, stop fucking around, stop fucking around. She kept on saying that. And guys, personally, I, I took offense to that because I felt like, no, Jenny O, you don't do that. You don't do that. At least we are not blind. We've been watching the show and we've been seeing how you've been sort of throwing yourself as well at GCJ. If the guy gives you all the attention you need, there's every possibility that you two, you don't mind opening your legs to him. So why are you slut shaming a fellow woman like that? Some ladies like JP, they took offense to that. Yaya as well was really disappointed because she's friends with both Melly and Elisa. She had gone ahead to try to talk Melly out of it, you know. Um, but then the guy wasn't sounding really coherent with his thoughts because he was just very upset and he was saying a lot of things that no, he was going to respond to Nel um, Nelisa like he was literally gunning for a fight or an altercation or something like that. And so um, Yaya tried to calm him down and then told him that, listen, the next day they were going to have a conversation about it. But now she's not really comfortable about the way he's handling the whole situation. But Janio was really spoiling for an argument like she, she wanted drama, right? And she did not make it stop there. She just kept on from time to time saying it out loud. Something that was supposed to be a secret between Nelisa and Melly. Automatically, Melly started exposing everything. That oh, this is what Nelisa's game plan has been all along. That she tried um stringing along Tabang. But anytime Tabang resisted her pressure, she would come and put the pressure on Melly and vice versa. And Tabang was there. In fact, guys, there were a lot of them in that lounge area of the house. And Melly was saying all of these things to all of these people. I'm like, bro, relax. They're not going to I'm like, okay, cool. What? <laughs> They're not going to fucking people. Hey. Like, and he even went ahead to tell them that, oh, it was when... Nelisa saw that she couldn't get her bank into her game plan anymore, that she came and threw herself at him. And he took the opportunity and he made sure that he boned her properly, gave her one shot, and then he dumped her and told her that was it. That since that was what she wanted, he went ahead and gave it to her. And now he told her that he's no longer interested. I mean, guys, I know that he wasn't lying. I mean, to be frank about it, I know he wasn't lying. I know he was actually explaining the exact thing that happened because everything he said was the exact thing that happened nelisa got herself into that deep shit yes however i was just very disgusted the way he was explaining everything with so much pride like what he did was an heroic deed right oh she wanted to come and seduce me and then i i i hit her properly and then i abandoned like guys it was just so disgusting. I'm, I'm going to be frank with you and i put out something on twitter that never ever f with someone like Melly as a lady Otherwise, it's going to shame you. Honestly, I was really disappointed for, for someone that I deem as one of the smartest individuals in the house. Seeing the way he was handling that situation, it was just completely uncouth, completely 
disgusting i was just very very disgusted at that point in time and so whilst he was busy saying all of that um blue ava was also instigating adding fuel to fire you know also saying a lot of nasty things about nelisa and they were making it as a joke because they were laughing and saying it right but then i was just looking at blue ava and i'm thinking okay if you're saying all of those things about nelisa what's the difference between you and her as well because that same yesterday evening <laughs> blue ava that is constantly saying that oh she does not care about what yemi or kosi is doing in that house had literally approached yemi after yemi had finished spending time with kosi i'd approached yemi right and then she was complaining to yemi that oh why are you treating me like a side chick i want you to stop treating me like your side chick and then yemi asked her okay what do you want she said i need more attention and i'm saying okay there you are now slotting around seeking attention from yemi knowing fully well that is into something with Kosi and here you are sitting down comfortably to slot shame another woman and then like a thing of pride to her like oh she was so proud of herself Yemi came much later to the lounge to chill and both of them they were having conversations and then she was proudly and arrogantly you know explaining to Yemi that oh they effed Yelisa ah they effed her she didn't even say Melly and Nelisa actually got intimate no she didn't even put it that way she made it look like the whole house actually effed Nelisa. And that was so disgusting to Yemi. Like Yemi was looking at her and he was trying to gain clarity. He was asking her, no, say it again. What do you mean? And she said it again. Yemi was like, no, but both of them are adults. Nelisa is not a child. She's an adult. She knows what she wants. So if you are putting it as, oh, they effed Nelisa, then you're making it look like, oh, it was the whole house or all the guys in the house. And that's really wrong. But then... You should have put it as, oh, she and this person, both of them, they got intimate with each other. Why are you putting it the other way around? And guys, I so much cherished that moment because Blue Ava completely looked stupid. I'm not even going to lie, guys. She tells me everything, but... Did she tell you? That's not a problem. Like, I say she tells me everything. That's not the point. The point is... The way you said like that, that's what I had a problem with. Yes, sorry. She just looked naive at, at that point in time. Is it that at 22 years of age, that's her naivety as a young girl? It just completely appeared on her face, and she was ashamed of herself because for someone who is so confident, the way she carries herself, she realized that she had actually goofed, and then she was apologizing to Yemi. Amy was like, yeah, it's not about the apology, it was just about how you said it. You, you know, it was just very off. And guys, I could tell that Yemi was genuinely disgusted. And he was kind of disappointed as well. That for someone like Blue Ava, that's an expert and professional flirt. Yeah. For someone that revels in her sexuality, she could have that very, very little comprehension about what it means for two adults to come together, have an agreement, and then get intimate with each other. And then she had the audacity to put it that way. So... The way Yemi was even looking at her, you could, you could read one million and one words that were going to come out of his mouth. I could see the word hypocrisy right there on his lips, but he was just holding himself back from saying it. So yes, I love the way he chastised her, right? And corrected her in the process. And I also loved the fact that much later, Nelisa came out of the dressing area and Yemi called her and gave her a hug. Yes. And he, he warned Blue Ava before Nelisa even arrived. Now listen, don't talk about my partner like that. I will not accept it. I will not condone it. Yes, I can advise her, but she's an adult. She can do whatever she wants to do. Even the day she and Melly had their intimate session, I was on my bed and I knew what they were doing. But I cannot judge them because they're adults. Let them do whatever they want to do. So ladies and gentlemen, he really spoke sense into Blue Ava's head. And oh my God. It made her feel so small. And I'm like, yes, that's how you should feel. Why do you think you can just freely slut shame your fellow female in the house because you think you're better off? But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, Yemi did me proud. I'm super proud of him. Um, and I would also love to know your thoughts about it. So please go ahead and let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys on another video soon. Have an amazing day. Bye.